Nathan, it is beat on here, and guys, we are going to be playing some more Mass Effect Andromeda. This is part six of the campaign uh, playthrough. So as you can see here, we've just fast traveled from our ship. Well, first of all, we are still in the same planet. We fast traveled all the way over here to where our next objective is. Now, um, there's a bunch of ships circling, and I think our Krogan friend needs a little help. He's getting attacked, so that's what we're going to do. But before we do, I just got to get everything situated on my end, and then we will be good to go. So hope you enjoy the stream. Hope you enjoy the video. And also, guys, if you're watching this post-stream, do feel free to fast-forward just a bit to skip all this intro part and set up and get straight to the, the, the good stuff here. So I'm just going to be putting in the tags and the... Um, settings that I want and then we'll be good to go and then I gotta check the mic too I think the mic is working okay I can actually hear myself in in my uh, headphone before I couldn't um, I was uh, streaming yesterday which we had a really good turnout with the stream yesterday and uh, my mic <laughs> wasn't working for the myself. first half there we go oh I can hear myself I don't like hearing myself I don't uh, I don't like it Still not used to hearing my own voice after 30 years. It's nuts. All right, so we got somebody in the stream. Welcome. Uh, we're, we're good to go. So let's uh, let's do this. I'm just going to have a sippy sip before we go. Bangarang. All right. I just came. I just literally finished work. So I just got home like maybe 10 minutes ago. And uh, I've been thinking about this game all day. All friggin' day long. All right, and I am trying my mic, or sorry, my uh, face cam in the corner. I'm trying to find a good area that doesn't interfere with any of the quick time events that I need. Um, levels increasing. All right, so let's go into Radiation our. Levels within acceptable limits. I'm going to go into our uh, all-terrain vehicle here, and hopefully, there we go. Get some air. There we go. So here is our... Now, oh, these are hostiles. I wonder if we can... Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There we go. It, it kept switching my, uh, my... It kept putting the gun away. I didn't want that. There we go. Hey, there's our buddy. He's like, why did you help me? Okay, now before we go talk to him, let's just explore. Maybe see if there's anything that we can uh, salvage. So, earlier today, I was just kind of fucking around with my uh well with Radiation the game and you can actually craft better armor you just have to find all the the crafting materials so that's cool so i want to try and maybe do that with off stream i might just go around grinding and collecting and all that stuff so let's let's talk to our friend i don't think there's anything going on can we talk to him how the fuck do i activate this Did the game glitch? Alright, let's just maybe holster our weapon. Oh, no. You know what? I think the game glitched. I'm going to try and maybe... You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to fast travel just back to this point, and hopefully it'll reset whatever just happened there. It's weird. It won't let me talk to him. So I'm hoping I didn't do something to glitch it. Because that would just be some bullshit. All right. Let's get back into the car. There's our friend.
What in the sweet shit is going on? Okay, there's a better beginning. Establish an outpost at an appropriate site with the remnant vault active and atmospheric conditions. Okay, so let's just look around. Maybe I can't talk to him just yet. You know, they can never just make anything easy in this game, you know? So this has to be our outpost. Now, what is this? That does nothing. Now these have to be something. Okay. I don't I don't get it, man. I honestly don't get it. Alright, so, you know what, let's just, let's just get out of the planet completely. Because I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I can't interact with anything, if I go too far there's radiation, um, and I don't think I need to go that far anyways, so we're just going to try this and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I might have to just cancel the stream. Or not cancel it, but I might just have to turn off the game, restart it, and restart everything again. And hopefully it uh, it resets itself or does what it needs to do because that's some that's some shit right there. Ugh. I hate departing from the planet because you have to watch the same cutscene. It's like it's like Destiny. You always have to watch them go into hyperspace and. All that stuff. Just chill. Hey, what's up? Make sure my mic's okay. All right. So what we're doing right now is uh, we're just gonna try and reboot this. Maybe I can talk to Roger. somebody. Liam's looking for you. Here, let's just check this. Excuse me. I burped. Okay, so we have a new mission. Okay, so a better beginning is the mission that we want to do. It's the campaign mission, which is all we're doing. So we're going to re-disembark. So basically what happened was um, we tried to do the mission and it glitched. It won't let us contact our Krogan friend that we need to help. Um, it has the marker directly above his head, but it won't let me interact with him at all. So we've left the planet. We're going to try and go back in and hopefully it reset itself. And if so, good. If not, fuck, I don't know. I really don't know. At least we can fast travel there. That's good. We don't have to drive or anything. Okay, so the objective is there. Okay. And we can just go here. Fast travel. Again. Oh shit. I think my game just died. Okay. Oh, my game is like losing. Okay, so you know what? Fuck the Nomad. Ah, uh, no. Oh, shit. 
That wasn't a good idea. But we're gonna try without the car. Okay, so there we go. It's reset itself. He's now attacking. We're we're back in business, I think, guys. We just had a small little hiccup. Ryder, about time you joined the party. There he goes. He's talking. Hey, we fixed it! Woo! Leave a like. <laughs> Think I made them angry. Good. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah. See, none of these guys came before, so That's it was a glitch. Keep it up. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Good one. Gotta hide. That little shithead. Just over there in the corner. Oh, that's our buddy. You don't want to be shooting him. Where is the guy that keeps shooting? Oh, there he is. There we go. He's done. Now we just got to worry about this guy. I want a reviver, but at the same time, I'm like, don't want to get killed. There we go. She's revived. This guy's being a shithead. There we go. Eat it. Eat it. All right. Boom. Done. There we go. That fight was fun. Yeah, well, it's not glitching. You could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. Ah, right, we'll be sm we'll you're be nice. Not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I mean, <laughs> just point me to your ship and try to keep up. There we go. So we, we're always asking this a bunch of people to join our crew. So now, let's build our outpost. We got our we got our car back. That's good. There we go. Another cutscene. This is where we'll build our new Hey, outpost. we got somebody welcome. A welcome. real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia hmm. training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Let's do opinions. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their oh. home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Okay, so you know what? I would go with military, but because he says it, it'll show our intentions, I don't want people to think that we're um, violent. So let's go scientific. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Got another trophy there. Foothold. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. 
Who the hell gave me a dislike? <laughs> Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. Hey, Barry B, what's up, man? How you doing? August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Take good care of it. That's what we're going to do. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a <laughs> Good fam. A Where are you from, man? Reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. Uh, uh let's just go like that. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, what a bitch. So, so far I'm really enjoying this game, but the cutscenes I think in my opinion Rider, are too long. You us time, but one outpost on a long shot planet won't stop us from starving. Every... You already have a lead on a woman's womb. Else. The nav point from Me the too, man. Vault. Me too. <laughs> now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Uh, I can handle myself. Don't worry, I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. With what, man? What do you need help with? Tans waiting on the Nexus. Alright, so what's next? Let's uh let's take a look at our map. Alright, so right here. Holy shit! There we go. That killed me? Are you ki kidding me? Complete fuckery right there. If I have a jetpack, <laughs> shouldn't have happened. There we go. Now we're back in safe condition. We're gonna head over to. Is the uh, the ship our? Oh no, man! You shot your dog. You need help. Not the type of help I can give you, though. All right, so we're gonna head up back in here and see what's next on our agenda. Oh, fuck! There we go. Ascent is go. There we go. All clear. Why not? Because I'm not a professional in uh, how to handle uh, I shot my dog incidents. <laughs> so if you shot your dog, you're shit out of luck. Alright, still loading. Hoping to God it didn't freeze. There we go. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. 
That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Okay, so that's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? I'll just say whatever's cool. We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached the Sorry, man, no can do. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Let's focus back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative Half priorities. Cocked. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. What a kiss ass. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Just get along. Fuck that. Work hard. Helios threw us for a loop. Meaning, we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now. And try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Why can does everybody have to walk like they have something up their ass? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. All right. So where is... Let's go down here. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Do we have a map here so I know where the bio lab is? Where is the bio lab? Engineering. There's the bio lab. All right, so let's go to the bio lab and see what's cracking. Think it's this way. Nope, that's locked. Let's just double check and go. Okay, so it's through here. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. Sorry, let's see this. How does a human soldier get to serve with a sari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Now, it's been a while since I've... Like I've said in previous streams... It's been a while since I played the last uh, Mass Effect. I'm trying to think who the Asari are. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out. No. Uh, did you know your dad well? You we'll ask one more thing and then we're getting the hell out of here. Too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. Oh man, and I respected that. I knew you were joking. People treat um, I, I like just, made of you know, glass. for a second there thought you were just going to be a troll the whole stream, so that's I why I was you ignoring you. Not caring. But we had a guy from Russia in the stream yesterday. We'll just say we've all lost something, and then we're around. good to go. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. 3 a.m. Eh? It's I only uh, and I it's 11 it. here. But. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. 
An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? Well, she's the jealous. What was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. <laughs> then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? By for all the female like characters, I'm going to do like, like an Asari the more huntress. compassionate, loving I thing. Best I could because be I think you actually get trophies if you're able to like actually was meant to be different. Will have be sex different with one of them. I'm going to try and get as many trophies through. as I can. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari arc. <laughs> if they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. There we go. There. Okay, so we're we're done talking. Let's go with another mission. We just had somebody else answer or enter, so welcome. Um, but what kills me about these games is you can literally just bang anything you want. Where's my team? It's hilarious. Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, oh, hello, Lassie. All right, so let's see where the oh, next mission is. I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. All right, uh, I don't think there's anything else here. So let's go back to the system view and see where our marker is. Anomaly on Sansers. What Sansers? Nanook. Let's just go here. <laughs> Takes time, man. Takes time. You gotta wine and dine them first. But that uh, PB girl, the the blue alien. I did one conversation with her and she already like said she wanted to jump my bones. Okay, so there's nothing on this planet. Let's get out of here. Anomaly on Sansers. So, so what the hell is Sansers? So there's the anomaly right there. Now how do I get into it? There we go. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Oh, it's a good game, man. You got to check it out. There's um This is the fourth in the series. So I recommend you start from the beginning and play all the way through. Um They're really good games. If you like anything Star Trek, Star Wars, you'll like this. Iron deposit. Now, where's this anomaly? I just want to do the mission. I don't want to fucking explore. So that's Eos. Let's check this one out. Skip it. Now we might have some luck here. I'm picking up something. There we go. There we go. Probe Pull the probe. Satellite detected. Is there anything else? Oh, well, hey, you do you, man. Whoever floats your boat. Can we land on the uh, satellite, though? No, we can't. It's too small. All right, so there's nothing here. Uh, let's, let's check here. Let's see what's all the way over here. Anomaly on sensors. 
Oh, I think she's saying sensors. Not, it sounds like sensors. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. All right. You're just fucked. I think that's it there. Gonna head out. Do you have to go back to EOS? I'm just gonna double check EOS. It's the one part of the game that I'm not really a fan of. It's kind of annoying to find what your next mission is gonna be. So we don't see we don't have any missions here for campaign missions at least. What haven't we checked out yet? We haven't checked out. We've checked that. Let's go here. Nanic or something like that. There's absolutely nothing. So how am I supposed to... figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go? Alright man, sounds good. You know what? I think I've absolutely explored every part of the system. Let's go into the cluster map. There we go. Alright. That's where it was. So now we gotta go all the way here. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you, man. Have a good one. Alright, so here we are. Finally found it. Just skip it. So we gotta go on the docking bay. Let's dock. Let's see what's up. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Just do my job. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. This is Herrick, one of the ge uh, scientists from the tech lab. <laughs> What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. Say the outpost has a good leader. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. 
Don't mention it. All right, so let's just head over to that uh, objective point. Oh, here we go. We can buy armor. Let's do that. Let's see what we can buy. Shit, I only have 187 credits. I am broke as fuck. I need at least 1,000 for a new armor. Okay, well, at least we, we know where we can go to buy new gear. Man, I am broke. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, man, I can't pronounce your name and I don't want to butcher it. But uh, I didn't choose the the military one. I chose the uh, scientific one. I just figured if I did if I did the military one, I would have uh, given the wrong impression. But welcome to the stream, my friend. I think tomorrow I'm going to stream Soma. I purchased that game the other day. I watched uh, a buddy of mine just play the beginning a while ago on his PC. And I always wanted to play it, so I purchased it. I got it for 75% off, and that's going to be what I do tomorrow. Just Chin? All right, man. I'll call you Chin. Nice to meet you. I assume you're from China? Hello, I'm Jian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work oh, that the Do vision of the Nexus this? has come to life. You and all your colleagues, fine. Look around at your... Please select a topic. Log off. We're logging off. Let's go here. Oh, welcome, man. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. We had Last time uh, I was here, this was a storage closet. Wait one second. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. <laughs> Looks like Jabba the Hutt. is only a partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Uh, it's just a big job. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Like, you don't know me, bitch. Do you respect Director Tan? But you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second here. The 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 missus was uh, texting me. Team effort. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues. You wouldn't be looking to cut us Colleagues. out, would you, Tan? It's the... I remind you. Fucking voice annoys me. Acting director. All opinions matter. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. <laughs> and I look forward <laughs> to voice man. our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. 
I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run Why does the military outpost, outpost the cause a lot of problems, Chin? And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Um... I don't need permission. Who the fuck you think you are? I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. So, there we go. So we completed a better beginning. We're, we're leveled up. Um, Ryder, this is Harry back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. All right, so so why does the military Alpha, outpost cause a lot of problems? As soon as possible. Probably get right. a lot of attacks, Something eh? Something about Andromeda viability and perks could be useful. I'll check all that no, stuff out later. Wanted, what um, but what I was trying to say before, Chin, is uh, it's the last few days I've been streaming. I've had a lot of people come from different parts of the world. It's been really cool. You're my first person from China. I had a, I had a couple people from Russia. And then I had uh, one from Indonesia not too long ago. So let's talk to her. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually yeah, has see, that's what I thought. to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Uh, I'm not bookkeeping. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. I really do not like this bitch. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Hello, Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Uh, viability points. Just What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Uh, thresholds... How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. How are you measuring oh, threshold? Fuck. It's based the more you achieve. Simplest explanation? The Hit more the wrong do, one. The more room we have to grow. Absolutely, but there's an order to things, a lines of support. I skipped a little bit, but it's okay. You can't deploy an omelet without first deploying eggs, and eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, Shut and up. how all our lives begin. All right, Brecca, where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. So what are you talking about? Okay, sorry, Chin, I'm trying to read this. So it says, uh, there will be unease people on Nexus because too many of their families can't wake up because they have no jobs to do. Oh, okay. So do you recommend that I do the the research on most of the, uh, most of the planets? 
Available points, science pods, military pods, commerce pods. Okay, so selected for the years of field experience. Under pressure, these scientists' expertise can quickly improve the initiatives. All right, so let's... Okay, so I guess this is like a way to get resources and stuff like that, too. Okay. So we just completed that one. Okay, so you regret the military. Okay, so I, I'm glad I made the right decision. So what part of China are you from? Are you from uh, Hong Kong, Beijing? What city? Are these... Where the hell am I going? Okay. Just wanted to make sure... We gotta go this way. Is this the right direction? No, I gotta go back up. Check. Okay. Can you guys hear me? It sounded... It felt like my uh, sound just went quiet. Shenzhen? Sorry, man. I can't... I don't want to butcher it, but... Uh, that's cool, man. Is it nice there? Okay, where the fuck? I think I have to go down here. Is there a way that I can get around? Unless... So this is where we got to go. Hey, see we got a couple extra more people. Welcome guys. Just trying to find the next uh, objective. So the point's there, but whenever I go up there, oh, it's probably right here. The navigation system's really shit in this game. Unless there's something I haven't figured out yet where you can actually track a wave, like a, a path, but even when I put a waypoint, it doesn't uh, guide me. Hey, thanks, T Terrell. How's it going? All right. Now this one. Let's through here. Assuming through here, there we go. So in these streams, we're just basically doing campaign missions. Off stream, I do a lot of the uh, researching and all that stuff. Oh, nice man! So, so you're in Japan right now? Awesome. We got Chin from China, and uh, I just had a few guys in here not too long ago from Russia, so we're getting quite a few people here from all around the world. All right, let's talk to this chick. Scans of the scourge, all that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. Yeah, we'll go with this have beauty just because we want to flirt with her. Darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean a god? A god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because... Science brings me closer oh. to something greater than myself. It's about uh, it's 11.30 p.m. right here. Oh, is it... How do you pronounce your... It, it, so... Can I still call you Chin? <laughs> uh, we'll just say I feel the same way. something about coming face-to-face -face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe wow 
It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if the sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I will say you don't have to uh, justify it. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. Alright, so now that we've flirted a bit, we're going to go back and hopefully get some more uh, action. So we'll go to the system view. Anomaly on sensors. I'm going to go to the way over here. Can we skip this? So what do you guys think about uh, Destiny 2 coming out? Are you guys worried for it, excited for it? Oh, she's not interested in me? Really? That's a first, because normally in Mass Effect you can get anybody into you. <laughs> oh shit. Catch hits a dozen. No more. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. <laughs> we'll scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? There's that guy. Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You first. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, hmm. I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. Okay, let's just uh, do this. Maybe he'll I talk more. I actually know a lot about the remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Oh, she's a lesbian. Okay. Sam. And uh, Terrell. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, do it. I'm excited. I like both multiplayer games and uh, single player games. But I'm excited for Destiny 2, but I'm also nervous because the first Destiny was a complete um, flop from what I thought it was going to be. But uh, I'm hoping that they learned from their mistakes in the first one and that this new Destiny game is way better. Holy shit. This reminds me of the Star Wars Trench Run in the Return of the Jedi right at the end when they escape the Death Star before it blows and the Falcon. There we go. Nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. Yeah, I agree, man. When I, uh, when I had Destiny... What pissed me off the most about it was when I bought it, they sold me the season pass, which was only two expansions. We're being contacted. And uh, when I found out it was withheld content, I got really pissed. We have to land. And then I just hated the whole repetitiveness the of the game. But the, I'll tell you in a second what the biggest thing that pissed me off was. Uh, we come in peace. <laughs> We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. All right, so what I was saying was, like, with Destiny, what pissed me off is after a while, they actually blocked my content because they were trying to force me to yes. buy Taken King. And I was <laughs> like, that. fuck you, that's not happening. It's beautiful. So I, I have a bad taste in my mouth. 
But I am going to buy, I think, the World War II Call of Duty game when that comes out. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a Hey, we got another time. person in the stream. Welcome. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most Come. important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. This is what it's all about. Right? New worlds? New aliens? Wish me luck. Yeah, but you know you know what? Part of me wonders how much control Bungie actually had. Like I think Bungie just developed it. Um, but Activision was controlling the strings. It's like with Call of Duty, right? You'll have Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward create the game, but then Activision does all the business stuff around it. So, thank you. I don't hold it against Bungie. I think I think it was all Activision. Oh, who the hell are these people? I don't remember these guys from it. I'm Paran The previous games. Governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the initiative. Yes. You crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel. I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? I'm just going to uh, exchange knowledge. Let's do that we first. We didn't know what we'd find here, to be honest. But I'm open to sharing what we know. Yes, it is my first playthrough. It's been my first playthrough <laughs> for a Mass honest Effect game in a while, actually. Start. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. The guys kind of look like the Halo people. Yeah, I've been a fan of the Mass Effect series since it first came out on PS3. Follow closely. I didn't have an Xbox 360. Do not try 360. to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards Do will not interact use with force anybody. if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. So we're just going to follow her. But, uh, okay, yeah, okay. When, when the first Mass Effect came out, my if buddy had an government, Xbox 360, I so I watched Ephra? it. Um, and I loved it. And then when Mass Effect 2 came out for PS3, I was uh, I was hooked. What's happening? We have a visitor. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Keep up. That's awesome, man. How much different is this game on PC compared to uh, console? Like, I'm playing on a PS4 Am I right that now. Intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I used to PC I'm not game, here to cause trouble. but uh, then I found it, co it started costing me a lot more money than I actually had. I found, like, I was always having to upgrade hardware and stuff, and I get it, it's a better experience, but. Right now, being in school, console is what I have to deal with right now. At least until I'm done. And then I might go back to PC. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. Now, how powerful is that, Chin? What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. I'm so out of the loop with uh, PCs, so I don't I know, know what, what a like. GTX 1060 You're is. Trying to be. Let's 
let's open in here. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I'm telling you to be strong. These guys kind of look like avatars. <laughs> okay. In the movie. Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Okay. Yeah, I do Our know that this. With the cat One makes second. Us naturally distrustful of all aliens. Yeah, like I know with uh, PC, there's graphical enhancements, but part of me was wondering like how much more. But I, I was saying to a guy today, I think that, um, you know, the PC versions aren't as good as the, what they could be because so many developers are trying to release for all three, right? Um, okay, so what does it say here? Our experience with the cat makes us naturally. You can trust us. We're nothing like them. In fact, maybe we can help each other out. We made that mistake when the Ket arrived. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnapped you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. What the fuck's wrong with his arms? Look at Ephra, his arm. This is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. It his path arms path. are messed. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. D don't worry, Terrell. I saw your message. I'll just answer it after this uh, cutscene. I just don't right, want to interrupt a anything. I that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Okay, but now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Does it have to be her? There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. So we got a few more people. Welcome, guys. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. <laughs> let me assess this. Alien. Hey, assassin, what's I'll going on, brother? Eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you Welcome want. back. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. Be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal I'll be your envoy through Angar in space. I'm grateful. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. <laughs> I can always kill you in your sleep. Good Holy shit. I don't know if I want this guy on my ship. All right, so what was I was gonna say to Terrell? Um, you know what? I do think a lot of developers design their games around um, consoles because I think the majority of gamers now buy Aya. consoles. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Only because it's Ships fixed up and financially, it's a lot easier, right? 
pay 500 bucks and you you can play AAA titles for like the next six to possibly eight years um, without having to do any upgrades. But uh, if you're more serious and you want like a better experience, definitely PC is the way to go. Um, I would love to be able to play every game at a solid 60 FPS and even play in 4K, but uh, that's uh, not within my budget right now anyways. Holy shit, 800 bucks American. See, I'm in Canada right I'm now. Just saying, as far as first contact goes, and, at least uh, that went better than the last And it cost me so much money to get my money switched Only over slightly. to American. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed. Whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. I'm just gonna say, can we just play nice? Cause this is getting fucked. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Joel has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet? It's on. Yeah, and that's part of the that's reason why I left PC gaming. I, I just Joel? found out that I couldn't Seriously? just keep, I couldn't keep up anymore. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? <laughs> the resistance is stretched thin. I was yeah, I know you're late, man. It's okay. It's okay. The stream started about an hour ago. This morning. And you will accompany me. Because... But don't worry, I'll be streaming a lot more of this. Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our Don't think I want to go there. Is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? Yeah, no problem, Silent. Of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. Kind of looks like Earth. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost hey, contact welcome, who just joined. with our scientists. Chat is live, Still so shoot me a message. Any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Pathfinder, it's your call. Yes, it is. Let's go. Yes, it is. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Callow the nav points for Have both Okay, I'll give that a Let's check. do this. I'll take your word for it. You've had four playthroughs, so you're kind of like the uh You're like you're my pathfinder. <laughs> In engineering if you need something. No, nah, we're not gonna talk. Alright. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll just go over here and uh I'll do some of the like the talking and all that stuff so offline. Biodiversity. And the waterfalls, just like Sir Cash. Hmm. Landing zone on Aya. So that was the. That's where we were. So where is this planet? 
That's a different uh, system. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not a fan of cold environments. Like I said, I'm from Canada. So, when, uh, you know, when we have our winter, I dread it. I'm more of a summer type guy, so I'll go to the planet that doesn't freeze my ass off. So, we'll go here. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly on sensors? No, we'll just skip and get there. Activate the scanner. We'll just land. Let's check out this planet. Uh, we'll keep the loadout. Cause these are the only guns I have. I should, I should maybe buy more. Maybe that's something I'll do once the stream ends. I'll try and see if I can buy some. What's a quick way of getting currency in this game? It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Oh shit, you're from New Mexico, okay. So, so, so what are you doing in Japan then? Wait, I don't think it's... Desert, yeah, I like desert worlds too. They remind me of Tatooine in Star Wars. Forty-two to forty-five Celsius is that's a little too hot for me, but it's I, I prefer the negative forty-five. Well, that's something you don't see back home. Well, they look like big flying uh, crabs. Oh, okay. Bringing us in. Well, like in uh, last night's stream, I was saying to uh, one guy, um, I believe his name is Shadow, he, he's joining the um, American Air Force, and I was telling him that I have a buddy who's American, who's, you know, uh, in the Army, and he's stationed in Germany, and he's been there for the last five years. Um, got married to a girl recently, and uh, yeah, he's, he's still living there. All right, so we're just going to explore this a bit. Now this is a planet. If there's a vault here and it's working, I wonder why it didn't show up on the map in EOS. There's her. I don't know about this, Jarl. It's risky letting a stranger wander about Havaral. You know the dangers. What is this? S oh, yeah. The synchronized roll was hilarious in the last stream. So for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, um... When we were, when I was streaming the game yesterday, I was in a gun battle, and like all the NPCs literally did this like roll over the like an object all at the same time, and it just kind of reminded me of a corny um, cop drama show that used to play in like the 1980s in the states or North America. Uh, let's just talk. This is them, the ones from the other galaxy. Yes. <laughs> Rider, Tacos and pizzas are the bomb, Lead man. Scientist at Darpanev. Listen, this planet's amazing. I just have you know to what's say, even better? Taco pizza. The planet's beauty They're is the least best of, of both worlds. Concerns. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Let me help. I know how to work remnant tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault and apparently reset it. Somehow. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. 
But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. All right. Uh, let's just go. So how far... There's the map. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk towards this objective. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to activate it. Because I'm looking at my clock right now and it's midnight here. And I got an early day tomorrow. So I might just get there and uh, I think we, that's where we might end the stream. Taco Pizza exists where I'm from, my friend. We even have chicken shawarma pizza. So it's... We got some good stuff. Be on the lookout for Roka and Garen fanatics. What do the hostels look like around here? Are they, the bugs here? Get out of here, bug! Holy shit, they shit! Alright. Oh! Whoa! Holy shit! And it's down. Oh, fuck, I died. Who killed me? Oh, that's nuts, man. You know what? Koreans are very uh, experimental when it comes to their food. I have a friend whose uh, girlfriend is Korean, and she tells me some of the stuff that they cook, and I'm just like, eh, not a fan. Mainly because I'm, I'm, I'm a picky eater, especially when it comes to, like, fishy stuff. I'm not a fan of fish, so it sucks for me. You know, because I'm Italian on my mother's side, and you know they love their fish, especially on Fridays. And it's not my thing. Okay, so whoa, 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 whoa! There he is. There's the son of a bitch. There we go. <laughs> you you know what I don't like and it's not necessarily the way the food tastes but I I fucking hate Korean barbecue restaurants. So like I don't know if a Korean barbecue restaurant is the same in actual Korea but here it's just a restaurant where you get a bunch of items and you have like a stove in the middle of the table and you cook your own food. And they charge you quite a lot of money, and I can't get my head around it. I'm like, I'm paying to cook my own food. It's just, I don't get it, but people love it. It's just not my thing. You know, the whole point of the restaurant is to have people cook for you. If I wanted to cook, I'd stay at home. Can I hide over here? There we go. Oh, it's these things again. Fuck these things. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm out. I'm out. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was looking at the chat. Oh, you son of a bitch. They got me through the cover. I get that it's interesting. I just... It's just funny how... You know, I, I... In my mind, I'm like, I'm paying to cook my own food. 
And then the waiters just bring you raw food, and then they expect a tip. I guess if you know what you're getting into, it it's good. Like, I guess for social gatherings, but or a first date. Those mushrooms aren't edible. But uh, let's be careful around the native flora, okay, everyone? You know, not for me. I'm more of an all-you-can-eat sushi type of guy. I love sushi. Good sushi, not the stuff that you get at the grocery store. We gotta, we gotta get the big ones out of here. Wow, I wish there was no tipping here. Sometimes I feel like the whole point of a tip now has been lost. And that's because, you know what, people expect to be tipped. And I feel you should only be tipped if you do a good job. I shouldn't have to tip you because you're doing a job that you're already getting paid for. That's just my opinion. I tip anyways. But... I just remember being when I was younger, a tip was optional. And now it's almost like a thing. But yeah, to answer your question, Chin, yeah, they they, uh, they bring your food to a table. To, well, to your table, not to a table, but to your table. And it's raw, and then you have to cook it. But, like, their idea behind it is, oh, you cook, you talk, you, you know, start conversation, all that stuff. Way too many things here. Holy shit! <laughs> Bless me. Take this guy out. There we go. I'm almost out of ammo. Is that all of them? Done. Yeah, it's the same here, man. You know, I used to be a I used to be a bartender when I was like uh, 18, 19 years old, and I used to I was paid less because I like my tips. They assumed I was getting tipped, um, and for the longest time, our government didn't expect you to claim your tips, but now we got to claim them. But there are some servers I know that get paid like full full rate. And the uh, unspoken rule here is you you tip the tax at a minimum, and then if they go above and beyond, then you go more. But, you know. There's some ammo. I need ammo. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is, Assassin. It's a one-time thing. Like, I've gone maybe just more than once because a lot of my friends like it. But, uh... It's nothing that I would, like, do all the time. It would definitely be something that, uh... You know, I would maybe do if I was, like, ever back on the dating scene, which I hope to God I'm not. Because I'm in the middle of planning a wedding Found right them. now. It's costing the me an arm and, a, arm and a leg. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. Oh. Alive, so they're all alive, yay. All right, so let's just do this and see what happens. Oh, it's one of these things again. Scanning will reveal the missing glyphs. Where are these glyphs? There, nope, that's not one. Oh, soju! I've drank that stuff before. Okay, 
so what oh there's a glyph is that the only glyph Or is there one more? There it is. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Okay, so that one looks like the Avengers symbol, like before, and then this one looks like. All right, so let's do this. And I think after I do this puzzle, this is where I will call it an end. I gotta be up early tomorrow. So again, so no row, no column. Oh shit! I hit X. The interface failed, Pathfinder. It appears that was. So we can't have that one. Uh, we can do that. Oh. Yeah, we can have that one. No shit, we can't. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do this one over here. And we'll do this one. Here for now. And what did you find about the, the research on the glyphs? That's maybe do that. There we go. Wow, this one's like a little more tricky. Just a lot. I think that's good. All right. Oh no! Thought I had it. This one is like that. That one. I hate these glyphs, man. Oh, it's Hebrew. Really? I did not know that. Doesn't look like Hebrew. But then again, I don't speak Hebrew, so... How would I know? Okay, so guys, let me know if I'm missing anything, okay? If you see a mistake that I don't, uh, I don't spot right away. Alright, so we don't have an A this way or an A thingy down that way. This one we don't have here. And then we don't have an A anywhere else in this row or in that row. Looks good? Okay, good. They're kind of like here. Yeah, Hebrew and Arabic have, uh, like, they're totally different languages, but they have similarities with, I guess, their alphabet. All right, fingers crossed. There we go. Boom. Reading of the monitors and... Scat. Scatting stars. What? Who are you? How did... <laughs> I'll just say I'm a writer. Pathfinder Rider with the Andromeda Initiative. I'm... From another galaxy. Take a moment. 
Find your bearings. More aliens appearing out of nowhere. What's going on? The remnant tech around here had you frozen in some kind of stasis. I don't know who you are. Just stay back. I don't think he remembers being frozen. Pack your equipment. We're leaving. Alert Pelev that there's an alien presence by the monolith. Hmm. <laughs> that went well. What's your status, Ryder? Did you figure out what happened to the research team? We rescued them. We deactivated the stasis field. They're safe and making their way back. That's good news. You should come too. Kiran looks like she wants to talk to you. All right, so we're we're saving, and uh, it is now quarter after twelve, which means I think I got to end this, guys. So I'm gonna end it. Um, I'm gonna actually save it just to double check. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the stream for tonight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Terrell, Chin, Silent. Um, it's been a pleasure, like always, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for coming in. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next stream as well. So subscribe if you want to. If not, it's cool as well. And I will see you guys hopefully next time. Have a good one and take it easy. And uh, yeah, have a good one.